Hello, my name is Rob Edwards, and this... It's my YouTube channel. Welcome one and all to the very first episode of Storycast Rob on YouTube. If you've not encountered me before on the internet, I should introduce myself. Uh, I have been running a podcast now for the last few years called Storycast Rob, in which I read short stories and novels that I've written uh, to the internet for people to enjoy. But I thought the time had come to branch out into pastures new, and hence, webcam. Uh, and therefore, the whole YouTube experience opens up for me, and it's very exciting. The time will come, I have no doubt, when I will read some stories to you, uh, my YouTube followers as well. But I've started things off uh, with something which I think is quite exciting, quite revolutionary, quite new for the internet. Something which I think just hasn't been done before. Because... I'm going to be talking Doctor Who. Okay, so perhaps perhaps not super uh, revelatory, uh, but nevertheless, we are at the start of October 2018 when I'm recording this, less than a week away from the first episode of Jodie Whittaker as the new Doctor. And I want to take a little bit of time to talk about how I feel about that, uh, because what I'm going to do is record uh, weekly episode reviews of the new episodes as they come out and put them up on my YouTube channel. That's the plan, TM, the plan. Before I talk about how I feel about Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor, I thought I should just present my credentials as a Doctor Who fan, which is kind of a difficult subject right there, because the length of time you are a fan, the, the depth of um, feeling you have for a particular franchise or product uh, doesn't really uh, change whether you are a fan or not. You can watch 15 minutes The Empire Strikes Back, the lightsaber fight at the end and go, wow, I am a fan of Star Wars. And that would be a perfectly sensible uh, and uh, valid fandom to join. You could also, of course, watch the entire of The Phantom Menace and decide you're not a fan and that would be equally valid. So the fact that I've been watching since uh, Peter Davison here uh, joined as the Doctor in the 1980s it makes no difference, really, whether you joined uh, for the start of Peter Capaldi, whether you haven't seen the episode yet and you're really looking forward to seeing uh, Jodie Whittaker uh, start uh, the uh, uh, the role come uh, the 7th of October. Uh, all of this is completely valid. And what my opinion is should in no way affect what your opinion is. I'm just putting that out there in case you were wondering, in case you were thinking, oh, I've seen a YouTube video. Uh, I definitely need to change my opinion. So what are my credentials as a Doctor Who fan? Well, I have pictures, I have toys, I have a sonic screwdriver, which I haven't switched on. Excellent. I have hundreds of big finished CDs. I have, well, literally, I have autographs from cast, uh, from classic and new Who. Uh, I am, I, I consider myself to be something of a super fan. Uh, I have been watching, as I say, since the 80s and have watched many episodes from before that on DVD as well. So how do I, as a super fan, feel about Jodie Whittaker, a woman, coming in here and taking over a role which has been a male part since 1963 when it first aired? I think that it is an absolutely fine idea. I'm actually really excited by it. I know that some people have some problems with it. In fact, even my wife is not terribly keen on the idea of having a woman play the doctor. But I think my perspective as, a, as an older fan is that I am used to the idea of change being a constant in the show. And do you know, the doctor turning into a woman is not nearly as bad as that time when the Doctor turned out to be younger than me for the first time. David Tennant! Uh, it's not so crazy as Colin Baker wearing his ludicrous jacket. Don't blame Colin, blame JNT. Uh, it's not so bad as Sylvester McCoy, who was a clown on kids TV before he became the Doctor. It's not as bad as a northerner with huge ears or a massive square chin for Matt Smith. No, I think actually a woman taking the role, it's an exciting new start. I had no problem with Missy, 
being the master. Spoilers. Uh, no problem with Missy uh, taking the role. Uh, Michelle Gomez knocked that out of the park. She was fantastic. And I am quite excited uh, by Jodie Whittaker as the new Doctor. The 20 seconds we saw of her at the end of Twice Upon a Time were fine. I mean, really, there's not enough there to make any kind of judgment on. I quite liked her brilliant bit of a, a, a doctory enthusiasm there, which I quite enjoyed. But really, we won't know anything until this episode airs on Sunday next week. So there we go. That is my opinion of Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor. And we will see, come episode one uh, on Sunday, uh, whether for me, she's able to bring that quintessential doctoriness to make me take her on board, uh, as every Doctor has done in the past. So there we go. Uh, thank you for listening. Sorry, podcasts. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at StoryCastRob. Uh, you can uh, join my community of one at Patreon, patreon.com slash StoryCastRob. Uh, and of course, you can follow my podcasting for my stories at StoryCastRob.co.uk or on iTunes. Look for Rob StoryCast, StoryCastRob. They should find it either way. Uh, if you liked this video, I'm have watched a lot of YouTube now I'm supposed to say to click the like button uh, and possibly subscribe I mean that's your that's your lookout really if you want to do it then brilliant if not I entirely understand that too thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed that and I will hope you'll come back and see my first review uh, on uh, probably about Tuesday next week uh, of the woman who fell to earth the new episode of Doctor Who with Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.